Okay. Somebody got lucky, so what? Walter's theoretical test subject. I think he's real. And that this could be him. The only problem with that scenario is that it doesn't make sense. If he was in the elevator car, he should have been electrocuted just like everybody else. And that's if the impact didn't kill him first. Well, not necessarily. This person is both the source and the conductor of a large amount of electrical current, then it could well induce a form of electrodynamic levitation. That's the technology behind maglev trains. They essentially float on an electromagnetic cushion. So he floated, like my necklace in the elevator? Uh, no, but it is possible that he could have levitated long enough to escape the brunt of the impact. That still doesn't make sense. If you can sabotage machines, you wouldn't sabotage one you're in. No. <laughs> Unless it was unintentional. An accident. Maybe whoever we're looking for isn't in control of their abilities. Maybe they don't even know what they're doing. Then we shouldn't be looking for big events. We should be looking for small ones. Unintentional ones. Oh, come on. Damn it. Just a small discharge. Negligible compared to the voltage coursing through that elevator. I say we need to find this person, and soon, before he finds out exactly what he's capable of. Full socks. <laughs>